Well, okay. It's been a while. I just got back from one of the worst workout sessions I've ever experienced in my life, and that which has confirmed to me that I cannot even be in the same vicinity as at least half of Americans in the United States because of the rampant denial, absence of understanding towards data and evidence, fact skewing, irrational thinking, delusional thinking. Delusions! What? Delusional. I can't even do it. Get into it. Get into it. Okay, so I was went to the local gymnastics playground, essentially just a bunch of monkey bars and ropes and whatnot. It's good to do this, you know, once a week, a little basic training. Um, there was another man. It's next to a tennis court. There was another. And there was another man there, whom I came to find out was 53. Why did I even bother talking to him? And I saw him having trouble running up one of the ramps. It was a little slippery because it rained the night before. I said, "Good job. You're still doing this." And he's like, "Yeah, it's just slippery." And I'm like, "Even in your old age, staying in shape." I started out friendly. Okay, I started off cordial. I make conversation. Because it's only him and I in this one playground. It's hard not to say hello to another man. I mean, come on. I mean, hat and glasses. I never saw his eyes. There was two other people playing the tennis court. Anyways, uh, I said, good, you're still staying in shape. He's like, yeah, uh, I said, I'm 33. I'm still doing this. And he's like, 53. And I'm like, oh, good job. You know, keeping it, keeping it tough. And uh, anyways, um, I said, I just got right into serious stuff. And I said, I don't think we're um, going to have a safe election or you know I think I said I actually I said I think there's gonna be a civil war in the next few years so it's good you're staying in shape he says even if we last that long I was like right and then he agrees and says even those on both the top of the right and the left political parties have been basically duping us you know that we're all being strayed you know the wrong way and I was like yeah I agree and I said there's no more authentically democratic institutions left in this country okay agreed so far so good right but then we start talking about fucking reality and science data evidence and this is the part where i lose touch i i i feel murderous okay because i know by principle the the real legitimate thing to do is, is to remain, remain peaceful and acknowledge that that we are headed for catastrophe no matter what. There's nothing we can do. The aerosol masking effect will li rise us by a degree if we stop all industrial activity. These things I know, but it's the principle of caring. It's like talking with another person. It's just like the Uvalde shooters. It's like I'm talking, I mean, the, the police force that responded. They, the world is screaming, we're in a massive heat wave, and he's saying, nah, it's not real. And he comes back, and I said, dude, I've been studying this for six years. I took geology in college. I have a YouTube channel with almost 900 subscribers. You can't out science talk me on this. And yet he persists to do so. This is what I mean by people I want to kill. He says, oh, but then in the 30s, you know, you got to remember uh, the Dust Bowl, like there were, the temperatures were like 120 degrees and uh, there were far less people. Um, you know, so how, you know, it's all cycles. He, do, he does the same Fox News comments, arguments. No, it's all the, well, actually, it's all the sun. He keeps coming back to me with the same, it's the sun cycles. Remember the Dust Bowl? And uh, potentially he would have got to Ice Age, but he didn't. That argument. And at this point, I am so fucking fed up with and there's two people playing tennis. I yell at the top of my lungs for him to shut the fuck up. And I'm about to beat his ass. I come about this close to beating his ass. And I know I could have. Because I just can't talk. It's principle. It's principle. It's like your whole... F he's, and he even admitted, oh, I don't want to be my grandchildren's age. You know, so he's... He's flip-flopping on his own debate and saying how bad things are, but yet making, but downplaying it. I just told him to not, denial, denial, dude. And I was like, it's been confirmed by, yeah, but then, yeah, you got to remember uh, China and, and, and uh, Russia and <clears throat> India, you know, they pump out. And I was like, yes, everybody in the world needs to stop what they're doing and immediately and convert over like in 1990. We're about 30 years too late, you know. It's like, a, it's like a, a crap shoot 22, but the principal, and I just kept yelling, and he kept coming back at me. I've been to Iraq. Oh, but you can't trust the government. NASA's a part of the government, so you can't trust them. I saw my girlfriend just open the door. You know, back and forth with, 
with counter arguments that make no sense. And I said, dude, if you just spend 10 minutes reading, this is all on NASA's website. Data, evidence is all fucking there that it's not the sun cycle. Yes, the sun cycle goes through minimums and maximums. We're in a minimum right now. We're going into a minimum. By the end of this decade, we're going to see mass migration. And he keeps coming back at me. No, no. And I just, half of the fucking population at least is like this. You understand? I want to murder them right now. All right? No, I'm not doing that. I abide by the law. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I own firearms. I'm safe with them. I trust myself with firearms. I've operated on people's eyeballs on a, like, a millimeter level, okay? I can handle precision, and I'm respectful. But when it comes to someone denying science, evidence, and data, reality to me, they can just go away. As Black Bear News says, they can just go away. And when they keep, like, it's like a child. They keep talking back to me as I'm telling them to shut the fuck up and get away from me. I told him, get the fuck away from me. And I'm in Northwest Arkansas, and that's at least half the population here. So half of America, I can't even be around. I, I have a moral obligation to not even be in the same vicinity as someone who is um, counter-arguing themselves, and most importantly, denying science and the wealth and health well-being of all fucking humans in life on the planet. They're evil. Or stupid. So stupid that they're evil. And they deserve to be shot. Useless, pathetic humans. Someone said on my last channel, on my, one of my comments, they're like, oh, there's actually some people out there that, uh, that wish that humans wouldn't exist so, you know, because of this whole climate change. Yeah, go, go talk to people. Go t fucking talk to people. All right? And then you'll start to feel that way real soon. Like within a couple weeks. Go talk to 100 people about how they feel about climate change or what they know. All right, look, I'm venting and I just worked out. I know I'm a little heated, but yeah, we don't deserve this. But when you have discussions like that with people that are flat out to your face, denying science, and not only that, arguing with you and talking over you. If this was only like four years later, I would shoot them in the fucking head. No questions. Oh, you didn't think it was real? You think it was all like solar had to do with the sun? Boom, you're fucking dead. No question. Anyways, I had to vent because I'm not going to say all this to my girlfriend. She's heard enough already. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.